Welcome back, everybody. Now, during this pandemic, many of us are turning to the arts to cope, right? But are we thinking about the artists? So today in one of our series that we're open Arizona, we are actually going to introduce you to a woman who highlights the very people who create the things that we connect to. This is Nicole Royce, owner of Royce Contemporary. I've been in the arts for the last 15 years, um, but I opened Royce Contemporary three years ago in Old Town Scottsdale. She's committed to discovering, exhibiting, cultivating, and promoting local, emerging, and established artists. There you'll find original contemporary artwork, including paintings, sculptures, photography, and installations. But with the pandemic, it's been hard to draw a crowd. It's definitely been challenging because when Arizona first shut down in March, it's usually our busy season. You know, we get the, the extra crowds from spring training and for the other art fairs that we have going on in the valley. So that was a little tough. So she adapted, working with the presence she already had online and on social media. She offered private appointments following all of the guidelines and precautions. In August, I reopened to the public with um, all the proper protocols and whatnot and just limiting the number of people in my space because it is small. I didn't know how the year was gonna look and I just took it month by month and I tried to um, really accommodate what my artists needed and keeping them in good spirits and checking in on them and making sure they're creating and being productive. Small businesses and art in particular is always a challenging market and field and it's been hit greatly by this. You know, a lot of the spaces on my street have closed. It might be permanently, we don't know. And the art walks are just starting to come back and they're very, very quiet still. Um, and so I'm just hoping people will eventually feel safe and comfortable because art galleries, museums and things are the most sterile environment. It's really safe. You don't touch anything. It's really just to come and lift your spirits. And that's what art does. And she's about to debut work from one of her artists tonight. It's called Into Another Light. It's the first solo exhibition of my artist Casey Wakefield. And this show is abstract minimalism, and it really is about looking to the future, looking to a brighter new year. Part of the month-long Scott's Dazzle event, tonight is also when you can enjoy the Scott's Dazzle Art Walk, where all galleries in the area will be open. Here's Susie Tim with the Scottsdale Gallery Association. It's the oldest art walk in the United States, and it was started by a group of gallery owners uh, 46 years ago. It's a chance to support um, the arts, it's a chance to be educated, and it's just a chance to um, show our community in one of the toughest years that any of us can remember that, you know, we're here to support them and, and we're going to do it in a really safe way. Nicole Royce is also encouraging you to get creative this holiday season. Right now is when people are doing their holiday shopping and people don't typically think of art and those types of things and it's actually a great gift. And a thoughtful one. A reminder that each day is a clean slate, a blank canvas, and we can create our own masterpiece. For We're Open Arizona, I'm Chelsea Davis. Now, we mentioned the Scott's Dazzle Art Walk that's happening tonight. In case you want to go, it's between 6.30 and 9 o'clock. And I hear that Santa, the Grinch, caroler, carolers, and other live music will be there too. So you can check it all out. Visit Nicole Royce and others and see all of the art in the galleries. Now, heads up there, masks are required. So if you want some of that location information or more info on Nicole Royce, you can go to abc15.com slash open. And we have to say thank you so much for emailing us, recommending places to be featured for We're Open Arizona. So please keep them coming. You can email us directly at openandaz.com. Oh, open at az at abc15.com.